right man in boxing. Lay the flare cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. What's going on? Make sure you check out our new sponsor, Cell Phone Buyers Recyclers. They pay cash for smartphones and tablets. Like and share their social media pages, Facebook and Instagram. and website is in the description for a chance to win an iPhone. What you waiting on? Hurry up and get that iPhone. All right, man. We back. Good fellow Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And Vasal Lomachenko gets gangster, you know, with Tiafima Lopez. And he gets gangster with... Um, Devin Haney as well too, man. And uh let's talk about it. I put the screenshots on uh the screen so you guys can see it. And he, you know, guest did an interview or phone interview with Top Rank Boxing. Let's talk about what he said about Tia Fima Lopez and I paraphrase, but you see it on the screen in a second. He said that he said that he, you know, he was looking forward to seeing the look in Tia Fima Lopez and uh senior in Tia Fima Lopez Junior eyes, basically saying that he gonna be be Tiafima Lopez and he wanna see the shock on their face. So, you know, uh, you know, Lomachenko getting grim, you know, he ain't gonna let these young dudes run him off social media. He gonna make a statement. He gonna move how he move and Lopez been doing a lot of talking, said he ain't never seen a Lomachenko ain't never seen a fighter like him and he gonna bring a lot to the table and you know, this is what makes good fights. You know, not just, you know, style matchup, but when, you know, you get two fighters chirping. Or you get a young fighter chirping and trying to take the old line out. That's some of the best fights in boxing history is, you know, old line and new line fights. And, and you know, the old line don't always lose neither. We've seen all last year, the last couple of years, old line has been tearing the young lines out the frame. Frame, John Pascal, Marcus Brown, you got a number of fights where these old dudes just won't go away. So, um, you know, with T.O., you know, he just got to stay focused, stay composed, stay, you know, Go to his game, go through his game plan. But Lomachenko, he making some real, real gangster, you know, uh, uh, statements. Short, sweet, and simple. So I just can't wait to see the look in his father, in him and his father's eyes after I beat him down. And I think people underestimate Lomachenko because they like what T.O. bringing to the table, how he did Richard Comey. And the Richard Comey win was the best win by either fighter at lightweight. You know, that might have been a better win than anything that Lomachenko had in his career, too. You know what I'm saying? Because you look at some of the other wins that he had. I mean, Miguel Moraga, Rigondeaux came up two weight classes. Nicholas Walters, he was froze out a year. Um, you know, uh, shit. Uh, Gary Russell still was a good win, but he was really a prospect at the time. Look at his first 20 fights. I think that's what he had before he fought Lomachenko. So the Comey fight might be a better win on either one resume, in my opinion, man. Uh, he did lose to Orlando Salido. That was a tough fight. Uh, a lot of people thought he could have went, uh, could have went either way, but it didn't. You know what I'm saying? This dude got some bang in a neo G in a geo, bro. You can't make it up in Detroit, man. But we we'll see we'll see what really what really goes down between them. But I think Lomachenko getting irritated by all the talk that Tiafimo Lopez is doing, and you gotta respond. You know, everybody say take the higher road, take the higher road. Just let your hands do the talking. This dude going around each podcast, each news article outlet each new media outlet he let you know that he gonna destroy lomachenko he don't like lomachenko lomachenko arrogant he's an asshole he's saying everything about the guy he said he legitimately don't like the guy so you got bad blood you got one of the uh premier punchers in boxing and tfm lopez the young guys you got one of the premier inside fighters in lomachenko so uh, all you got to do is hope Tiafim Lopez the man his word and everything he said that him and his father said he was going to do he done it thus far do I think uh, Lomachenko is an insurmountable uh, person to conquer a fighter absolutely not you know what I'm saying you can beat Lomachenko you know what I'm saying if you got the balls to do it you know all you got to do is, is treat him like the bum opponent you had and walk him down that's it if you try to sit there and box with him and you let him get in the groove and get on the front foot and you let him get to beating your ass on the inside, then you're going to get beat up. If you push him back, forget trying to box this dude and, and trying to prove a point. Go out there, set the tone, beat him up, body shots, power shots. On the back foot, he not he not as good on the back foot. Use that jab to walk in, rip the rib cage, rip the uppercut, you know what I'm saying? And just, and just bulldoze him and set the tone and hurt him with something. Once you hurt a guy with something, then you can go fall back and, and box him and pick him apart. Once you got that respect, he got to get Lomachenko respect early on. But I can see Lomachenko going in there and giving him the work. I probably slightly favor Lomachenko right now, but I'm pulling uh, for T.O. Fima Lopez. But it's going to be an amazing fight. I think we all believe it when it happened. We're supposed to be getting it next month. 
obviously the COVID-19 and Rowo uh, took it away. But, you know, he basically said he wanted to see, he said, I want him to see the look in their eyes after I do what I'm about to do to this kid. So, you know, some guys you just don't say nothing to, you know what I'm saying? Some guys, I don't know if y'all seen Isaiah Ryder KG little interview they was doing about, you know, trash talking to Michael Jordan. And I don't think Lomachenko know Michael Jordan. But some guys, you know, you just don't wake up a sleeping giant. Some guys you just need to sneak up on and do like the uh, juvenile CD Guerrilla Warfare. Woo, woo, be quiet. Tonight is the night to be right. Sometimes you got to sneak up on some of these dudes, man. But the team from Lopez want to make sure that ain't the case. He said he going to roar. He going to let Lomachenko know that he roaring. But, you know, Devin Haney went on social media. And I put that on the description as well and on the screen real quick. Uh, and said that, you know, you went on social media and told Lomachenko, why are you ducking me? Loma said, I ain't ducking you. He said, I'm going to KO you. And so Devin said, and Loma said, I ain't ducking you. I'm ready whenever. But if you was ready, why you drop your belt? A lot of times people don't understand the management, the matchmakers, top rank. Lomachenko probably would have fought Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? But they control his career. And they said, no, it's too much of a risk. They didn't want to mess up, mess up the church's money. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, until Devin Haney, you know, was going to be the mandatory, you know, Lomachenko was going to fight George Camboso in Australia. And then, you know, when they said that you had to fight Devin Haney, all of a sudden he didn't want to fight no more. So, you know, he, you know, Devin Haney young, he don't have a lot of experience. Um, but is he going to go in there and not box Lomachenko? I just don't think he got enough experience right now. I think Lopez beating Richard Comey and just his style being able to really punch and, and 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 just punch and, and and be able to walk guys down and his power is gonna be the difference you know what I'm saying and and, and depend on the style he uh, uh he do uh, he uses but Devin Haney you know he talking a lot but he ain't done nothing at least T O did got the belt he got the I B F belt and Loma said the only reason I'm go back to this I'm fighting T O from Lopez because he got my belt that's what he said the only reason he fighting T O because he got my belt and Devin Haney got your got the he he had the belt. You know, and they just took it away from him. You know what I'm saying? It made you franchise champion. We became the mandatory. That should have been his belt from the beginning with, with Lomachenko. I mean, with uh, you with Luke Campbell. But top rank went in, and I'm just telling you how corrupt it is. Motherfuckers won't, won't, won't order Earl to fight Bud, two champions to fight each other, but they'll order Lomachenko to, to, to fight another uh, number one contender for a vacant belt. Just tell you, boxing is grimy, and it started with the sanction of belt bodies. The sanction of belt bodies, you know, they live by code. They live the right way. Uh, they go by the right way. We have a lot better fights. We wouldn't have these BS mandatory fights neither. So, you know, with Devin, you know, if he go out there and I box Lomachenko, I'd be surprised. But he do a lot of moving, man, and he moved backwards a lot of the time. And you do that versus Lomachenko, you playing right into his hand where he, he's a front foot fighter. People talking about, He's, you know, he's a great, he got great footwork, and he got great footwork on the front foot. He ain't no back foot fighter. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Devin Haney, no Floyd Mayweather Jr. I don't. I don't think he can outbox or Pernell. I don't think at this point he got enough seasoning where he just that talented where he can just outbox Lomachenko on the back foot. Maybe he can. He a big kid, long, but no experience, bro. No Gennaro Hernandez under his belt. You know, none, none, no, no fights like Floyd had on his belt. You going right into there with somebody that can fight on the inside. And how good is Devin Haney fight on the inside? You know, that you're going to find out if he fight Lomachenko because Lomachenko, you know, he going to cut that ring off on Devin and make Devin fight. You know, Devin asking for something that he ain't ready for yet. His style, his style is too amateurs right now. And Lomachenko style amateurs too, but he got the end, he got the seasoning with the front foot fight, man. You know, he got the seasoning. So, you know, I think uh, Devin, Devin got the length and the, and the height and the reach. But he, you know, he got Mike McCullum. He can show him how to find the inside. I don't really see the body game that McCullum really implemented, you know, in his career in Devin yet. But it'll come. He ain't been working that long with him. But, yeah, I like Lomachenko easy over Devin Haney at this point. I just don't think it's – he ain't – it's hard for me to say because he ain't fought nobody. At least I got a Mayoshi Tanaki, and I got to look at him fighting uh, – T.O. fighting Richard Comey. You know what I'm saying? And his style, if he fights the correct style and his power – it's always going to make him dangerous versus Lomachenko. I'm a little bit worried that he ain't really went deep in fights, you know. But, you know, with that power, he used that jab, he walked him down, worked the body, and work upstairs, he'll be okay. But with Devin Haney, you know, fight for Tuna or something. I heard he petitioned to fight for Tuna for his belt, not only healthy with the WBC. So if he fight for Tuna, we get a better idea how good he is 
I'm um, not saying the kid bad, but he just then Fortuna be a step in the right direction. You know, Luke Campbell, we might want to see no Luke Campbell, Fortuna. I see Fortuna, Devin Haney. Um, I think the San Diego guy get, got him prepared as a perfect fight opponent to get you ready for uh, Fortuna. A uh, wild guy, you know what I'm saying? Throw them wild overhook hands and you keep your hands at home. And, you know, so, you know, I think that's good. He fight hard for Fortuna. Hopefully, WBC cleared. Nobody care about Luke Campbell. He just came off a loss. Why the fuck is he getting another title shot again? All right. He didn't lost twice in the division. Let's move on from it. Let's get Fortuna and Devin Haney popping, man. I think we all want to see that one. That would be a good step up fight for him. Fortuna gave uh, um, Granado some hell before he quit, before they bought the Robin in Texas. He gave uh, Easter some hell. Obviously got knocked out by Jadriel Corrales. People forget that in Cobra just beat Corrales. Corrales is never easy to fight. So we'll see the way it boiled down for, for, for the young bucks, man. Um, but hey, I put the screenshots on the uh, screen. Appreciate the love support. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to me on those platforms. If you got a question, inquiry, response, shit, business, or business sponsorship, whatever you want to do, you want to make a donation to the channel, cash out, PayPal, best way to donate, share the video one time for the one time we gone.